Dragon Ball Evolution. Now, I don't hate it as much as the masses do. Is it a great movie? No. Is it good? Not really. Is it bad? No. I don't see it as bad. I, I felt that they tried. A little bit, at least. <laughs> People were fucking pissed. Um, I can understand why, you know what I'm saying? It's like trying to not copy off the storyline of the cartoon or the, or, the, or the animated series is a fucking sin or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to copy off the fucking animated series. The fuck? You know, it's like, and the writer had to fucking apologize I don't know why I wouldn't apologize for shit. I'm like, what is it? You didn't like it. You didn't like it, you know? I felt they had potential. I didn't really... Um, I could do without it, to be honest. Um, I felt, like I said, I felt they had potential. And if, it, if there were a sequel to that movie, I would definitely watch that. Because I didn't think it was really that bad. Even though I could do without it. You know? It was nothing like the animated series. I didn't feel that same vibe watching as an for the anime series i watched it all the way through and um i didn't i didn't feel like i was going to fall asleep i watched the whole thing all the way through to the credits i was like okay when the credits rolled i was like oh shit and they even made a fucking cliffhanger at the end with piccolo and shit is in a fucking he's getting nursed back to health and shit but there ain't gonna be no part two because of the backlash of the fans and the backlash that they received in that movie and um Especially the, the the original creator of Dragon Ball Z, Akara Toriyama, he fucking hated it. Um, I, that prompted him to fucking start Dragon Ball Super, which is much worse in my opinion. I'd rather watch Dragon Ball Evolution, the movie from 2009, which I'm talking about now, as opposed to a fucking one episode of Super, which is fucking fan service. They're not continuing with the series. They're not really moving forward after fucking Z. They, they they trying to make it a fucking prequel before Z. I think it's after the last episode is after the fucking uh, Boo Saga. And it's before GT or some shit. What the fuck? It's just fan service. It's fucking stupid. But if you like it, you like it. You know, I mean, I'm happy. I wish I could like it too. There'd be more Dragon Ball Z for me, you know. But why couldn't they just go back into the past with the Saiyans and shit? You know what I'm saying? Explore the origins of the fucking Saiyans. Why couldn't they just make a fucking anime series off that? Of course they can't go Super Saiyan. Because that wasn't learned until fucking Goku. And in fact, if you want to do a fucking Super Saiyan, why don't you talk about the legendary Super Saiyan? How was he born? How did he grow up? Was he like Broly? You know, you could have went that route. But no, you had to bring fucking fan service. And you had to bring Saiyans from another fucking dimension or planet that does no fucking training. You can come to a Super Saiyan just like that. No anger, no fucking build up to a Super Saiyan. None of that shit. They just become a fucking Super Saiyan. Then you had the Brawly knockoff just made, him a, made her a woman. That's it. It ain't shit. Then you got Jiren, who looks like a fucking dickhead. He looks like a fucking busted condom. He really does. He is a literal dickhead. What is no personality ass? Fuck, man. He's like, oh, how do you know all about these characters when you don't watch it? Well, I've watched videos. And I've watched reviews. Which led me to, to conclude that I don't want to see this shit. So they talk about these characters like Kale and Khalifa and Caulif Cauliflower, whatever the fucking name is. It's ridiculous. I, I mean, it's like, well, I don't want to see this shit. You know? And, it, and Goku, I heard, is, is even more goofier than he was in the Dragon Ball Z series. He's even more fucking stupid. You know? Shit, I'll take Dragon Ball Evolution over that shit. Give me, I'll watch it again right now. As opposed to one fucking 30 minute episode of fucking Super. I shit you not. I'd rather, I'd rather watch the whole fucking Evolution movie. Fuck them. <sighs> shit. Oh my god, man. Do I own Evolution? No.
Well, I, do I have plans? Do I have a plans to buy it? No, I do not have plans to buy Evolution. So that shows you how I think about it. Like I said, I could take it and leave it. I don't care. I watched the whole thing. I wasn't bored. I was engaged throughout the whole movie. You know, like I said, I felt it had potential. I think if they came out with a part two, I probably would end up liking it, you know, more, you know. So, you know, it's all oh, Krillin wasn't in there. I'm like, yeah, that sucked. You know, Goku's best friend and shit, but, you know, and they started off with Goku's 18 or he wasn't a fucking 11 year old boy fighting demons and fucking kung fu masters and shit and fucking androids because <laughs> we already seen that in the series you know i think the hardest part of making the dragon ball z movie is trying to come up with a story that nobody has seen but but featuring the dragon ball z characters that's the hardest fucking part you got to tell your own fucking story so i felt the writer did a good job in that he he tried to tell his own fucking story you know I mean, Grandpa Gohan still fucking died. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like Roshi too much, though, in, in Evolution. I thought he was too fucking young, man. And he just... Like, Boom, I thought she was all right. You know, she didn't have that fucking blue hair. She's no fucking rock chick. Ah! Rock and roll! That's what I'm going to wish for when I get the seven Dragon Balls. I want to be a famous rock star. Give me a guitar, an uh, electric guitar that never breaks. Yeah! You know? She had that one blue streak. I thought Boom was cool. You know, I thought she was believe Chi Chi like the Chi Chi. Goku had potential. He wasn't great, but but I'm like shit. He was a he looked like a fucking dork. You know what I'm saying? But um, fucking nerd or some shit. This is a weak ass like the type of boy that gets his head thrown into a fucking toilet at PE and shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Yeah, I like the Chi Chi though, man. I think my favorite character in Evolution was um Chi Chi. Chi Chi and Boom. I thought they did a good casting for them. Goku was like, it could have did better with him, you know what I'm saying? Better casting. <clears throat> and I thought it was stupid when they was calling the bullies in schools, calling them Giku. I was like, what the fuck? That was fucking dumb, man. Yeah. Oh, hey Giku. How you doing, Giku? And all that shit, you know. But I feel if they made a part two, they would have explored his origins, how he got there, that he was fucking, they use actually a fucking alien, he's not human and shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's, maybe his grandfather cut his tail off as a little kid, because you've never seen this tail when he was, when, in the movie, you know, maybe his grandfather cut it off, I assume, when he was a kid. But then again, how was he able to morph into those Zaru without a tail? So I guess they threw the tail concept out, you know. I mean, like I said, I heard some decent arguments as to why the movie sucks or why they don't like it. I agree with them, you know, but like I said, I don't hate it as much as they do, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I didn't feel it was a terrible movie. I felt it had potential. Like I said, I can't repeat myself enough for like a broken rubber. Ooh, I had potential. Ooh, I had potential. Boop. I had potential. Boop. I had potential. Boop. I had potential. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. But yeah, um... Those are my thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Evolution. I just thought I'd make a video sharing about that shit. Because I'm like, what the fuck, man? But yeah. Those are my thoughts on it. More videos to come, of course. Like, comment, subscribe. If you do one or the other, I'm happy with that. Um, That's it. If you like what you hear, hit the like button. Don't treat me like a sad bitch. As Tommy Solomon says. I'm out of here. Anyway. This is Wild Chromosome, signing out. Peace and love.